It was a mouth-watering prospect to the Brisbane International as world number three Serena Williams was set to face 2009 champion Victoria Azarenka in the first of the semi-finals. But shortly before the much-anticipated meetup, Azarenka felt forced to withdraw with injury. An infection in the big toe on her right foot sees her out of action for a couple of days. That's all Williams through to the 62nd singles final of her career and her very first in Brisbane. Uh, it's my right toe injury. It got infected and I uh, had a minor procedure, like surgery done yesterday. And, uh, you know, something that I had to do to make sure that I can be ready for Australian Open and couldn't wait any longer to, because it could get even worse. So um, just didn't have enough time to, to heal up after that. Sooner than expected then, lucky loser Lesia Serenko took to court in what was the first women's semi-final at the tournament not to feature a seeded player since it relocated to Brisbane four years ago. Opponent Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova began as considerable favourite, but early on she had to come up with some fine efforts to recover after an early break. Oh, crafty. That's some nifty stuff from Pavlyuchenkova. Serenko was playing in her first ever WTA singles semi-final, but she didn't appear to be suffering from any nerves as she showed flashes of creativity. Oh, terrific stuff. Serenko saving break point. The last of five breaks of serve in the first set came in game seven. Game. So Server's been pretty ineffective yes, tonight through seven games, five breaks of serve. The world number 116 had squandered two set points in the previous game, but she wasn't to be denied. Game in the first set, Serenko. She's been called the lucky loser in Brisbane. Six games to four. But boy, is she making a move towards being the ultimate winner. So the question was, how would the Russian respond? Earlier this week, Pavlyuchenkova had won consecutive matches for the first time in five tournaments, and it was thanks to this type of aggression. Game. Pavlyuchenkova, break point number six, has her back in the mix. The confidence had definitively swung in the 21-year-old's way. Continuing to create Game. problems and accept Serenko's Ball break change, of please. serve. And the set was soon hers. Game and there and it is, sets. done and Pavlyo dusted. Pavlyuchenkova or Serenko, one set, decides the finalist in Brisbane. One Despite letting an immediate break slip, the former world number 13 continued her ruthless streak. Yeah, Game. great angle, cross-court winner. Pavlyuchenkova had overcome top 10 players Kvitova and Kerber to reach her second Brisbane semi-final, and she was now demonstrating why. And that'll disappoint her because right there, Serenko trying so hard. And Pavlyuchenkova, yep, too good. Serenko was still scrapping, but her opponent had long overcome her early nerves. The Ukrainian continued to fight relentlessly, but her defences had been broken as she was dragged around the court. Game. The double break was sufficient for Pavlyuchenkova to make her fifth WTA singles final. And now there's no Game. doubt. Match, the dream round of the lucky loser comes to an end because the Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova one, four, six, has six, reached six, the one, biggest six, final two. of her career as she posts a 4-6, 6-1, 6-2 over Lesia Sereko. Well, I played a final last year in Washington as well. But um, um, it was a small tournament. This is my biggest final in my career, I guess. And definitely, I'm really happy. And, you know, um, I was working hard, so I'm happy that my work has started, is already paying a little bit. But, you know, I'm, I'm not going to stop on this. I have still one match to play tomorrow and then, um, you know, try to do my best.